Hey guys, uh, welcome to my channel and in this tutorial we will be seeing the contents of EDCFS tab file and understanding that uh, what different fields in EDCFS tab stand for. As we know that EDCFS tab is a file where we make up an entries for the file system which we are interested in having uh, mounted persistently across reboots. So any file systems, when a system comes up, if you if that file system is mounted here, uh, usually that entry has to be specified in EDCFS tab. And uh, there are five fields in EDCFS tab, and I'm going to discuss about all these file fields and what all values you can take. So let's VI into EDCFS tab and understand these file fee five fields. Now, the first foremost field is uh, the file system that needs to be mounted. So, uh, as you see that slash test1 was the, file, was the file system that was mounted in the output of df edge. So, uh, we created a partition on disk std, std uh, and that's the first partition. So, we specified here slash def slash std1. There are different ways to specify file systems and in case you are interested in checking out I have uh, created another video how you go about uh, uh, mounting file system you, you, using the UUID and the label. But for the simplicity of this tutorial, let's keep it as a block device where we have specified this block device slash dev slash std1. The second column uh, comes, it talks about the, uh, the, the folder on which you intend to mount your file system. So this, in this case, you, we have mounted slash dev slash std1 on slash test one. The third column uh, or the third field here specifies the type of file system. So like the proc, sysfs, fs, temp fs, these are, these are temporary file systems and there are, we can specify here ext4, ext2, ext3 or the file system type that uh, we, have made, we have made the file system. Uh, in case uh, you're interested in mounting the CD-ROM persistently across reboot, then uh, ISO 9660 is the file system that is specified for that. The fourth column is the is the options that uh, are specified with the file system. So default is the usual option that we take. Or in case you are interested, you can make it read write or specify it read only. Or you can specify here uh, USR quota in case you are interested in it, in implementing the quota over this file system or GRP quota, and so on. Uh, you can check the, uh, the the man pages for EDCFS tab file in case, or uh, the other documentation that's available in case you're interested in knowing about other options. But for the time being, we have uh, taken a defaults option, which will find, uh, which will mount the file system with default options. The Fifth field that's that is specified here is for the dump utility. Now, the dump utility is inbuilt into Linux, and uh, this field can have values either 0 or 1. As you see that for certain file system, it's been specified as 0, and for certain file system, it's been, it's been specified as 1. So, uh, when, when a dump utility is triggered, if the value is 0 here, the dump utility will ignore that file system and will not and that specific file system will not be backed up but uh, if it's a one then that file system will be backed up using the dump utility the last field that is specified here is for the file system check option so whenever the system reboots the system checks all the file system for the consistency and uh, this field can have uh, like the zero value here specifies that this field should not be checked uh, for the file system consistency when the system is coming up. Uh, for the root file system, usually uh, it's a practice to put up a non-numeric value of one. And for other file system, we specify here the value two. Now, uh, watching the structure of EDCFS tab file, all these five columns, you can either separate them using a space or a tab, but just to maintain a consistency and to uh, have the neatness in place, so I, I, I prefer putting up in a specific tabulated form, which you can, of course, uh, continue doing so that it looks more neat and consistent. And uh, I believe that is all that needs to be discussed about the EDCFS tab file system. Uh, sorry, EDCFS tab file and how file systems are mounted uh, 
using and how to go about making an entry in ADCFS tab for the file system that needs to be mounted. I hope this has been informative for you and thank you so much for viewing. You may subscribe to my channel in case you have not uh, to keep yourself updated with the latest video tutorials that I keep on posting. Bye for now. Thank you so much for watching.